Hello, this is Toll from Trifle Production with another Blender Quickie. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so I'm, I just thought about doing another one. Using the uh, that free add-on that I did a while ago, or showcased a while ago, called the Blender Building Tool. It's not Blender Building Tool, it's just the Building Tool. And uh, I'll just leave a link of the description in the description below this video, a link to that uh, free uh, add-on for Blender. Uh, but this is for Blender... It can only be used in Blender 2.8 and above, so I'm using Blender 2.8.2, 2, I think it is. So I'm going to open that up, and we're going to create a building using the uh, add-on. Because so I thought about it, like, well, uh, it's, it's good to showcase it, but uh, let's just see how well it works. And the first thing that you'd have to do, <coughs> excuse me, is um, we're going to divide our window at the beginning to the section that we actually need. And I'm going to turn on my screencast keys. Well, let, don't let me turn that on just yet because for some reason the step that I'm going to use to pull in the image, <coughs> excuse me, the image into the uh, into Blender, for some reason in that step actually disables the um, the action. So let me just do this first. The first thing you're going to do is just hover your window over, hover your mouse over the section of Blender on the right hand side, and then when when you hover it over a line. A divider turns into a double arrow, and we're going to hold down the left mouse button and pull down. The next thing we're going to do is hover our cursor over this section also when it turns into a crosshair into a plus sign. Hold down your mu left mouse button and drag that down also, that splits the window. We're going to click on this icon here, and from the uh, pop up menu, we're going to click on you or image editor. And the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to provide these images also for you guys to use. I'm going to navigate to where I, I'm going to open up the folder where I have this building saved. And I'm going to click and drag it over here. This is how you can import images into Blender without having to go through the file system. So left click and drag and let go and it appears right there. <coughs> Scroll up down your mouse wheel to get a better view of what you're looking at. And now I'm going to turn on my screencast keys activate that and they're going to appear up in the uh, top left hand corner and now we can start building we're going to try to use this as a reference to, for the floors we want to make with the uh, building tool and we just want to make this section here not the uh, top part because with the building tool you can get generic looking buildings but when it comes to it, like intricate details like these little uh, designs up at the top of these slabs and things like that it doesn't do that but it does make you know basic windows and basic slabs which is helpful to start off your building so I'm going to press delete to my keyboard <coughs> to get rid of the cube <coughs> excuse me there's always something in my throat every time I do these uh, tutorials it's just the weather I'm thinking and then we're going to go to building because after you've installed it remember this installation process <coughs> excuse me is edit preferences add-ons and just go to install and navigate to where you've installed it install add-on and then once that's popped up building tool just put a check mark in this box and that's activated and we're going to click on create floor plan <coughs> and get some water to drink And from there, <coughs> the next thing we're going to do is leave this as it is. And to start adding floors, we have to go into edit mode and click tab on your keyboard. And click add floors. Let's scroll down on our mouse wheel to navigate to, act to increase the uh, uh, better viewpo viewpoint of what we're looking at when it comes to our building. And now we want to decrease, actually add more floors to this and to do that from this side pop-up menu click on the arrow and add let's add four floors so we're going to click one two three and that adds four floors for us hold down shift left mouse button and drag down to see all our floors and now these floors are kind of thick and the slabs are also pretty thick we want to decrease that so let's uh, go to floor height left click in there press one and enter and that makes it them a little bit more practical looking as, as we want to mimic what we're seeing here 
I want to decrease the number of slabs also or the size of the slabs and let's uh, let's left click on this arrow to decrease their the height of our slabs and I guess point zero five is good let's scroll up to look at them closer and I want to decrease the offsets because they're kind of protruding a little bit too far from our, from our building so let's go to slab offset and left click there a few times and eyeball it and that looks pretty good now when you want to add windows to it if you just click on add window nothing's going to happen what you have to do is click on the uh, face select mode which is this uh, little icon here I'm downloading something at the same time I'm doing this tutorial so I'm looking back and forth from between two screens uh, but let's left click on that to click face selection and we want to select all the faces in this row of faces and to do that hold down your alt key on your keyboard and then left click once and it selects all those faces uh, excuse me for a second I need to show off my second computer just so I can say focus on the tutorial and uh, I've got some a little bit of liberty today my wife has taken my children out so I have the freedom for at least the next 30 minutes to you know just talk as loud as I want to without my children hearing me and wanting to come in so uh, let's get back to our tutorial hold on your left a middle mouse button let's like kind of pivot around our building to make sure all, all of our faces are selected and once you've done that we're going to click add window now since we want to kind of mimic what we're seeing in this reference image we want to add you know a few more windows well, per floor and to do that we can increase the count here let's let's add make four windows here and that looks good let's scroll up on our mouse wheel to zoom in hold down shift left the mouse button and move your mouse up to get a better view of our windows let's pivot hold down our middle mouse button and pivot with our mouse scroll up a little bit so we can get a better view and we want to add some kind of uh, detail to our windows and to do that we go to fill type click on that and let's add let me see uh, let's see glass panes well uh, that doesn't really look like what we're what our reference image looks like so let's choose something else let's choose bars that looks a little bit better and we want to kind of decrease the size of these bars and let's uh, we can do that by um, adjusting this parameter here, the bar width. Let's left click a few times. Let me see. Yeah, point zero 0.01 is good. And we want to, let's put uh, another horizontal bar going across, I guess, to give it more character. Let's click on horizontal bar parameter and let's left click once on that. And that looks pretty good. Now, the good thing about this add-on excuse me is that if you want to once you've set these parameters you want to add more uh, windows to your building you don't have to go through this process again you just uh, do what we did before we're going to keep it on face select hold down alt let's get a corner here hold down the middle mouse button and pivot hold down alt and then left click and we're going to hold down shift alt left click left click to select all these floors and then add window and then it automatically does it for all the windows and now we have a full building here and the next thing we need to do is just add the textures to it and then we're finished okay that's somewhat tricky to some extent but I'll just walk we'll just walk through it step by step let's minimize this hold on our shift and middle mouse button drag down so we can get uh, more real estate to work with and more stuff we can see when it comes to seeing our building and what we're going to do is go down to material tools and we're going to uh, go down to our material tab on the uh, right side of blender of our blender window we're just going to scroll down with our middle mouse button and this icon here is a material tab click on that left click and add new and the first one we want to do or the slabs which would be this okay let's, let's name this uh, slabs left click once and then when this turns black type in slabs on your keyboard slabs enter and then we're going to divide this window and once again you have to hover your cursor over the top corner either right or left 
either way it works and you just hold down your uh, left mouse button you just drag down go up to this icon left click once and then go to the shade editor click that once and part of the node has been set up for us <coughs> have to get the other part which is the node wrangler so just left click once to activate this window and the way you can tell it's activated is that it'll have a, a white border around it this one doesn't this one does this means this is activated and to make sure that your node wrangler is activated go to edit preferences and let's delete that and then the search bar type in node and then when you see no wrangler pop up put a check mark in that box and that means it's activated and the node wrangler helps, helps us set up nodes a little bit faster so once you've done that press ctrl t on your keyboard and that comes up press g to grab and pull this up Turn it from, because we're not going to UV unwrap any of this because that's going to take, we want to do this as quickly as we can. So we're going to bypass UV unwrapping and just uh, hover our, our mouse cursor over here. Left click and drag to change it from generated or UV to generated. <coughs> and we're going to go from point to texture. And the next thing we're going to do before we uh, select uh, texture is we want to choose the slab. Now, I would rather want this uh, add-on, the way I would like it to work would be, let me give us, some, so we can see this better, pull this up so we can see our, our options better. What I would like it to work is that when you click on slab or walls or window, it will automatically choose it for you, but it doesn't do that. So what you have to do is you have to, maybe it does, let me see, select, oh it does, okay, uh, stand corrected. So once you've chosen slabs, just pick select and it will choose it for you and it automatically chooses slabs and then we're going to click assign to make sure that it assigns it to uh, that material the size of the material to that mesh and then we're going to choose our slab material so click on open and I'll provide these textures also for you guys to use <coughs> uh, I apologize for my for me clearing my throat it's just it's just the weather and now I'm going to navigate to where I've saved uh, I've saved it, saved it on the desktop so let me click on that and here's my slab material I'm going to click on that left click and click on open image and for or in, order, in order for us to see it let's go to this uh, let's choose a different uh, view viewport mode which would be this viewport shading and like I mentioned before once you have applied the first material to your uh, mesh it applies it to the whole material because it doesn't know exactly where you want it it wants or it needs to be applied so it does that automatically but don't be alarmed by that just uh, kind of keep adding texture and keep assigning the texture to certain parts of your uh, material or your mesh and it's kind of stretched here so we're going to change this from flat to box and now it's applied properly to our uh, building the next thing we want to do is go to walls, the same process, and then pick select. For some reason, it, it does that initially when you initially um, assign the material, it will select the material for you. But for some reason, when you go to the next um, material slot, it just doesn't do that, which is kind of strange. But let me add, let's add another material to it by clicking on the plus sign and click new and then we're going to uh, call this wall to correspond with what we're seeing here just for the sake of order so type in walls another L S enter and maybe maybe it'll do it this time let's click select okay it's still not doing it let's press A and then select okay if this happens to you just try to remember where the walls would be on here Unless, uh, unless the walls are so small, it can't really see it. We can't really see it because it's choosing something here. But let's just keep going. It's choosing something here, but it's not what exactly what we're wanting it to choose in terms of what we're seeing. So let's go up here. Same process. Highlight this white border. Control T, G to grab so we can see where our uh, new nodes have been added. Uh, hover your mouse over generate it 
which we're going to use generate not UVs from point to texture let's click open and then we're going to go to desktop again where, or wherever you saved yours and let's left click on that open image and let's see let's click assigned I think it has applied that because I can see that there's a there's a selection made here but let's left click on this and that's called the frames select the frames I guess the frames have pretty much overrun the the, uh, the wall the wall mesh because you can't see the, the walls at all which is fine that's not a problem but let's just keep going so our frames we want to add a new texture for that let's click on the plus sign and then new and call this frames F R A M E S enter and with the frames we want the frames to just be reflective metal for the most part so let's just click on base color left click and this left click and drag this down to make it darker <coughs> and they want it to have a shiny if you want to see the a preview of what your material looks like go to preview on the uh, right side of your user interface and just click on that uh, node or that uh, drop down arrow and it'll show you what your material is looking like without you having to see it on your material on your model and let's make it a little bit darker let's click on that again and drag down to make it a little bit darker I want it to be a little, little bit more shiny so we're going to increase or we can decrease the roughness and decrease the specular either way it, it works either way and now it's shiny I think my my children have come back in again <laughs> let me try to get through this before they open up the door because I think they just came back in uh, <coughs> um that's my wife yelling uh hold on for a second Sorry about that. I'm back now. It was my wife was dropping something off, so she just wanted me to know that it was at the front door. But back to the tutorial. Once we've done it, let's zoom in and let's click assign here. I think it's maybe you should click it here. Oh, there it is. S sometimes this add-on is a little bit finicky because sometimes you click assign here, it'll, just, it'll assign a material, and if you click it here, it won't. Other times, if you click here, it'll assign it. If you click, click it here, it won't, but just, I mean, it's, it's a free add-on, so you just work with what you've got. And like I said before, it makes great models of buildings. And as you can see, it's pretty reflective as we pivot around. It looks pretty good, pretty great. And now let's go to assign that same material to these uh, window bars. Let's click on that. And then let's click select. Okay. And then from here... In order, instead of going through the same process of trying to recreate the, ma the material from scratch, all we would have to do is click on that arrow, click on frames, and let's tab out, get out of edit mode, and it's turned the whole thing into that same mesh. Let's press Ctrl Z to get out of that. Okay. Okay, this is this is kind of strained, but let's go back to what we did before with the frames. We're going to make this dark again, pull this down. And then we're going to click on specular and increase that to make it shiny again. And we're going to reduce the roughness. And there we go. And that's that's I've always mentioned that before. That's one thing when it comes to um, CGI, it's always trial and error for the most part. CGI, 3D animation, it's 90% <clears throat> troubleshooting and 10% creativity. 
because you're going to come across situations like this quite a bit when you work with, with uh, 3D. This is just how it is. I mean, some add-ons are more stable than others, but for the most part, this is the process. So let's add the new material. I guess we'll have to go through the whole process of, of adding a new material again, creating it from scratch for the uh, window bars. Let's click on the plus sign and click on new. And then window bars. Click there once. Let's type in window. And then bars. Enter. And then we're going to. Let me see. Same process. Base color. Drag this down. Make it darker. Left click and drag this up. And we're going to increase the specular and reduce the roughness. And let's jump to frame for some reason. So let's go back to window, window bars and click assign. Doesn't work there. Let's click assign there and that works. So now we have that. Let's go to window. Click on that. Plus sign, add new material. And we're going to click on the window itself. Select. And it chooses all the windows for us. And we're going to, let me see, did we create the new material? There it is. New. Left click in there. And type in, remember we wanted to correspond with what we're seeing here. So type in window. W-I-N-D-O. Enter. And then we're going to, let's just make it white for the sake of this tutorial. Because I, that creating a uh, glass material, I think it, there's a preset for that in Blender. I'm not too sure, but let's click Assign, and it assigns that material to that. But let's, let me see if there's a preset in here for a glass. And to bring up, let me, let's press Control t bring up the little Wrangler, G to pull this up. Uh, we might not need this, let's delete that. Let me see. To bring up new nodes without using the Node Wrangler, press Shift-A. And that brings up the node you can add within Blender. And I'm pretty sure there is a glass shader in here. Press Shift A again. Shader. Here is glass shader. And you don't need this at all. You can just connect it straight to the uh, surface. So just hover your mouse over here, over this node. Hold down left mouse button, drag that over. Excuse me, over there, and there you go. That's the glass shader. Let's delete that. And there is your building. It's kind of a rough, rough process with the tutorial in terms of the uh, add-on. But as I said before, every three packages, especially with Blender. I mean, because I only use Blender. I've I've, I've dabbled in the Maya, Cinema 4D, and in 3ds Max. But not long enough to see any errors in it in terms of glitches or bugs. But every program has a bug in it, just in general. So like I said before, when it comes to 3D animation, 3D modeling, things like that, everything is trial and error. Just don't get frustrated. Just keep pushing through. And just it's good to just have go through processes like this. That way you can increase your knowledge base of, in terms of troubleshooting issues with when it comes to 3D modeling. So yeah, this is our building using the uh, 3D free 3d add-on for blender called the building tool and i'll leave a link of the description in the description below this video and once again thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all your support i uh, appreciate you guys and once again stay safe wash your hands social distancing so on and so forth and i'll see you guys on the next one all right adios